fuck is up? You already know what the fuck time it is. It's another episode of the Goddamn Nasty Sports Update. Today, we do not have any sponsors. Want to get right into our topics. I uh, want to send huge thoughts and prayers to Tiger Woods. Was in a horrific car accident this week. Um, looks like everything that he had going on with his surgery did come out okay. He did have to get a rod put in his leg to reconnect his tibia and fibula. Um, coming from having a broken fibula in two spots, I do understand that that's a gruesome injury. But they did say that his skin, that bone did break through skin. And if you look at that car, you know, after the wreck, um, man, we just happy to still have Tiger Woods here. You know, it's been a trying 2020, even another trying 2021. And we just want to make sure, you know, all of our athletes and everybody is protected right now. And we don't want to see anybody go out. So definitely want to send our thoughts and our prayers to the Woods family and Tiger himself. Hope for a speedy recovery, my G. Um Devin Booker snubbed from the All-Star game. It's a travesty. How do you pick somebody on a team and don't pick the best player on that team? I get it. I get it. Chris Paul, uh, what, president of the uh, M- MBPA? Uh, the Suns are doing great. Clearly, he's always been a captain, always been a leader. But uh, he's not the best player on the Suns. So how do you not pick the best player and pick – I, I wouldn't even say he's the second best player because I think Aiton is is. I don't know if I would say Aiton is a better player than him, you know, all around. But I would say right now he is, walking double double, walking double double, man. Um, but Devin Booker, let's look at the stats: twenty four point seven points a game, four boards, four assists on fifty percent shooting. Come on, G. Come on, my G. You what what? You can't do better than that. You look back uh last season when they went to the bubble undefeated. People thought maybe it was a fluke, maybe it was just because motherfuckers wasn't giving the Suns the time of day. Look what happened this this year. They've been snapping, going ham. Bleed at fourth in the West right now. Come on, man. If you fourth in the West, I get it. Motherfuckers uh put Doncic over Dame Lillard to start in the motherfucking all-star game. But it's the coach's duty to pick the motherfucking reserves. And for the coaches to, to sit there and snub Devin Booker, who is our one of our rising stars, I mean, if you're not trying to get ready to put him on the pedestal of a, of a Bradley Beal, of a C.J. McCollum, Dame Lillard, he's in that esque. He's in that esque. He, you know, he still got a little bit more to prove, but I, I don't give a fuck. If the Suns make a run in the playoffs, you're going to see him being considered as a top seven, top ten player in the league. It's the reality of it. Put some respect on that nigga Devin Booker name, man, because what? The third highest scoring, what, is is, 70, is that 70 he dropped? Even though it was in a loss. Even though it was in a loss. And them niggas that was in there laughing and taking pictures after them niggas lost. You know, when Kobe dropped that 80 piece on, on Jalen Rose, bum ass, them niggas won that game, and they was down by 20 when he started doing that shit. But Book, you know, he got one of them games where offensively he don't got no flaws. He can dish that bitch. He can go to the cup, put that bitch on the floor. Motherfucker got that bitch from three. Nigga, if you needed him to pull up a little clutch, little two, bang. You know light-skinned niggas can shoot, man. That's one thing you got to know. You got to know light-skinned niggas going to pull that bitch. He ain't from Michigan. Shout out Devin Booker, man. You'll be there next year. Don't stump niggas that need... Man, stop letting them old niggas get them bros, man. Chris Paul done been there enough times. We know that nigga not trash, but we also know that, hey, this was this was given to him off namesake. This wasn't given to him because he better than Devin Booker. Please don't. Please don't get that twisted. Uh, News that broke last week. Carson Wentz to the Colts. Niggas still gonna be trash. Phillip Rivers, I can see, I can even see the comparison of Phillip Rivers and Carson Wentz. Two motherfuckers that just stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. We'll see, we'll see if he'll be able to get out of his own way. But we know that, you know, Jim Irsay say what the fuck he want to if he don't like shit. If shit ain't going the way that he likes it, then, hey. Pack your ass and get the fuck right up out of there. But the other good thing about Indy, though, is that he may be able to get that Peyton Manning tutelage. 
And if they're able to bring Peyton Manning in and give him some help, get his mind back on track, now we're talking about something different. Now we talk about the possibility of, you know, the great white hope back in Indiana. But already got problems in the locker room because uh, a sophomore in the league, second-year player, receiver over at the coach said, no, nigga, I'm not giving you number 11. Better pick another number, nigga. Now, I don't know if motherfuckers realize, but I, I believe Carson Wentz uh, signed one of them big, big contracts and Indianapolis is now paying that contract. And you, my friend, is a second-year player making very minimal dollars. If niggas say you giving up that motherfucking jersey, bitch, you giving up that jersey. I don't know what's wrong with niggas, man. Like Isaiah Thomas said, he said it didn't matter who the fuck. If Jordan came, I, I remember it vividly. Shannon, Shannon Sharp said, you know if, or, or no, it was Stephen A. Stephen A said, you know if, uh, if Jordan, you wouldn't like Jordan on your team. He said, nigga, if Jordan was going to come on our team, whoever had 23, number two, or number three was going to have to get them jerseys up and go sit on the back of the bench. Carson Wentz is the starting quarterback in Indianapolis. Nigga, give your jersey up. Find a different number. 11, not even that sweet of a fucking number to begin with. Fuck be wrong with you niggas, man. Brian. We on a skid right now without AD. We lost the game to the Wizards the other day, and you could have won it for us. Missed the free throw. Um, it's Our team just isn't as good as it was last year, and that's just the reality of it. We got to find before the motherfucking trade deadline ends, we got to get some more scoring. We got to get some more scoring because can't nobody motherfucking get their own basket outside of Schroeder. So if he hurt, then it's just Brian out there. Marcus all stuck in motherfucking quicksand. Montrez, he can get you 17, but they it's like some, the one night that 17 is huge. The other night, it's like a silent 17. And we just need somebody that could come in that bitch, especially with AD out, that can be a for sure for sure score and get to the cut. Wesley Matthews, that was a bad decision. We shouldn't have gave up Danny Green. Um, clearly, Mark Gasol uh, over Dwight Howard wasn't smart. We, I would have rather had JaVale and Dwight over Mark Gasol. I get Mark Gasol is a little bit better offensively, but we lighten the ass on defense, and this motherfucker can't move. We really seeing where we need him now because if we could have a three-man rotation, big man a Trez, Trez, motherfucking JaVale and Dwight right now? Come on, man. Come on. Danny Green, at least. That nigga was broke, but at least that nigga hit more shots than fucking Wesley Matthews, bro. Wesley Matthews, get the fuck out of the game. We got to do something, bro. We got to do something. I know we just I know we just uh, sliding on into the playoffs. I know that's what we doing, but let's not take our mind off the focus of what is a championship and we got to add a championship pedigree the entire the rest of the season because All-Star break is coming soon, and you know that back nine is where we need the motherfucking real niggas to come out and hoop at. Before we get out of here, kids, please stop talking to pro athletes like you motherfucking crazy. I get it. Niggas, I, I know high school kids, high school athletes got the most motherfucking pride and ego out of anybody I know, bro. Y'all niggas stink because y'all on varsity underneath them Friday night lights. You might got a couple of letters from some JUCOs. You might got a letter from motherfucking your state university or something. Listen, dog, you need to realize that a lot of times if you go to a decent high school, those colleges just send you letters regardless. Don't really mean that you that fucking good. But what it does mean is that you got to put you got the potential to maybe make it to a school. Stop talking to motherfucking Heisman Trophy winners and MVPs of the goddamn NFL Football League talking about, nigga, you about to be broke. Nigga, you ain't sweet. You talk about a nigga that was a starting quarterback in the, in the motherfucking Super Bowl. These niggas will knock your head off, bro. And the right nigga and the right one, sometimes, man, they that's why that nigga kept saying where your dad at. Because that nigga was going to be like, Hopefully your daddy wouldn't have got punked 
because, bro, stop putting motherfuckers in fucked up positions because your pride is too fucking big for your goddamn cleats, nigga. Get your ass smacked up. Tied to the motherfucking goalpost. I'm warning you because you pull that shit in college y'all get some senior motherfuckers that don't, that ain't, that, and y'all niggas is in the same age bracket. Your ass gonna be motherfucking uh, uh, picking your head up out the toilet. Swirly, nigga. Hold your breath, dog. This has been another episode of the greatest, the dopest, the wisest, the smartest sports commentary in under 10 minutes. We'll see you next time.